Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, this is the second part on Y Delta transformation, and here we'll be solving practice problem 9.12. And this is exactly the same uh, as we solved example 9.12. Uh, the techniques I had, I'm just going to repeat. You know, this is the delta circuit and this is y circuit. And we can easily convert from delta to y or y to delta by following these formulas. Uh, since mostly uh, I convert or prefer to convert from delta to y, I, I just follow this technique of like calculating z1 what we do is left and right, ZB, ZC. So let's see here, ZB, ZC at the top and divided by all three, that is Z1, ZB, ZC. So this is an easy way to memorize, but you don't have to really, you can just see the formula table. And this is when you're converting from uh, Y to Delta. So this is the formula. Now, practice problem 9.12, this is the circuit, and we have to find the current. There is no way that we can simplify this circuit uh, other than we convert this uh, delta into y or y into delta form. Now, what I, I, I'll do is I'm taking this delta here, and we'll convert this delta into y, but there are other options also. You could have taken this delta as well. You could have taken this y and convert it into delta, or you could have taken this y and convert it into delta. So just give it a try. Okay, so when we convert this delta into y, we'll get the y terms, and we are calling them z, a, n, b, n, n. There's Cn, and we'll use this formula for converting the value. That is, that a n this one is this right left, that b and that c divided by total. Let's see now how to do it. Okay, so z a n is eight plus. Now this one. We are, we are calculating this, so 8 plus J5, 8 plus J5, that is the right one, and left is 5 minus J2, so 5 minus J2, divided by sum of all three, that is 8 plus J5, plus 5 minus J2, and plus the third arm, 10, and solving will get this answer. Similarly, ZBN will be this multiplied by this, divided by all three here and ZCN will be this arm multiplied by the second arm and divided by sum of all three. Now this you could do but I'll, I'll tell you a simple technique whereby using the calculator in complex mode you can directly calculate these values as we had done in the previous example as well. So let's see calculator Clear everything, mode, just confirm that it is in complex mode. So press mode button, two for complex. So we are in complex mode. And now this is in the form of a numerator and denominator. So we'll pick this button, push. So numerator, denominator. Now numerator is eight plus J5, so bracket eight plus five for J V right I. 5i bracket close, then again bracket 5 minus j2, 5 minus 2i bracket close. We come down to the denominator 8 plus j5, that is 5i, plus 5 minus 2i and plus 10 plus 10 equal sign this we press SD if it is not in the proper form you can say it is now 2.18 so 2.18 
प्लस जीरो पॉइंट वन जीरो से जीरो पॉइंट वन जीरो वाई और दिस इज विद जे सिमिलरली यू कैन कैलकुलेट फॉर दिस वन एंड दिस वन लेट्स ट्राई सो वी गो बैक एंड वी शुड गो अप कॉन्ट गो अप डायरेक्टली सो लेट्स गो बैक 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 वी डोंट वॉन्ट टू चेंज द डिनोमिनेटर बिकॉज इट इज रिमेनिंग सेम इन ऑल द केसेस and here you can see 10 into 5j so uh, 5 minus j2 so j2, this remains there let's delete the last one okay and 10 into so 10 and we give a multiply sign and then go to the end equal sign sd So 2.02 or 2.0 minus 1.13 minus 1.13 i, and similarly uh, the other one. Do it again. So 10 is there. The second term will delete. So it's 10 multiplied by 8 plus. J five so bracket eight plus five i bracket close then go to the end equal sign S D three point six nine eight so three point seven and one point six nine one so one point seven so this is how you can directly calculate. using your calculator in complex mode okay so we had calculated all these we have put in these values and now instead of this we'll substitute this portion so our circuit will look like this so this removed and substituting this part and now you can see these Two are in series. These are in series, and so we let's take we an equivalent circuit. We call this part as Z one, this part as Z two, and this is Z three. We have to calculate now the value of Z one, Z two, Z three remains same. So Z one is what Z one you can see addition of this and this. So two point one eight plus J zero point one. And plus J four, so this adding you will get Z one, and similarly Z two is the addition of these, and Z three uh, is remain same, and now you can see the we can find the equivalent circuit by these two in parallel plus Z three, so the equivalent circuit or equivalent Z will be Z three plus Z one Z two in parallel. So Z three equals these two in multiplying and dividing. So putting in the values, this is the value, and here also we'll use the calculator. Clear. Two point zero minus one point one three J or I plus. Now this is in fraction form, so insert this fraction button bracket two point one eight plus J four point one plus four point one I bracket close next bracket three point seven minus one point three J one Point three i bracket close so numerator done the denominator two point one eight plus four point one i plus three point seven minus one point three one point three i This is done. Go ahead. Equal sign. 
and this is the answer let's see what is the answer here so 4.67 bring it back 4.67 and this is uh, minus 0 0.30 so minus 0 0.3 uh, I. So this is the answer or the this is total Z. Now let's move ahead. So we have calculated the total Z and now we can calculate uh, the current. So let's see this one. This is the equivalent circuit we have got. Total Z we have calculated. So current is V over uh, Z. So V over Z. And here also you can directly calculate clear fraction 45 angle minus 30. So for angle shift, this angle sign 30 degree. So numerator done. Come to the denominator 4.67, 4.67. Minus 0.3i and the equal that is 8.002 is 7.98 or 8.003 and 5.33. Now this is in a rectangular form, so we have got this, but we can directly go to polar from here. So shift and complex. Here is the complex. We select this option R theta 3, 3, so 9.616, it is 9.546, angle 33, so it is, it is close, there could be some minor error somewhere. So this is the answer, I hope uh, uh, you have been able to follow this. And here also, I'll show you the other options, one of the options is that if we separate this part and this is actually a y connection so y connection this you stretch this on the right stretch this here so this is y connection and you can convert it from y to delta and then bring it back and you bring it back in place of this you will have this uh, delta and these two are now in parallel these two in parallel and you can then the net result is also in parallel with Zc. This is how you can calculate uh, the total Z as well and find the same answer. So I hope you have been able to follow this. Thank you.